What's up YouTube Tech Guy Hodget here for Tech Guy Hodget TV and this is a quick little app overview of an app called Splashtop. Now what this basically does is it lets you remotely control your desktop or your laptop, your Mac or PC from anywhere as long as you have a, this is, there's a little software that you have to install on any kind of computer that you want to control with this app and once you've downloaded that and installed it it asks you for a password so that for the first time when you use the app to log into that same computer you have to type the password so that's what keeps it secure so this is the app and when you go in it gives you a list of all the computers that you've got so I've got my iMac and I've got my my um, laptop which is not currently on anyway and that's another thing you have to ha make sure that your computer is on for this to work for it to pick up the computer so let's click on the iMac and there you go so in the beginning it gives you gestures I've turned those off but it basically gives you a screen telling you all the gestures that you can use with this um, with the app and let me zoom in a bit so you can just get a better view of it There you go. I think that's focused alright. There. So with this is, let me show you something. If you double tap with two fingers, you can basically use it as a trackpad. As just a giant trackpad and then you basically get the same animations as you would. But that's not how I like using it. So if I double tap again, it, makes it, it just makes it as, a, as if it's a pointer. So I can tap here go on about this Mac it's basically literally having your Mac on your iPad okay let's close that so I don't know say if say if you've forgotten a certain file at home or something so if I go here give that a double tap so say if I got, I've got an image so okay let's see this say if this was the picture that I've forgotten at home and I can just log into my iMac from home email it to myself or just show it on the iPad and we're done and, um, and so they, and you can just close it off so, so even running apps such as Final Cut Pro X is not that bad so as you can see it's loading up so and there you go you've got Final Cut Lit, like on your iPad really and so you can obviously close this out close out the window it doesn't want to cooperate does it there you go and the thing that I thought this was would be really good for and um, a lot of people were saying well then why don't you just buy a laptop but I don't know like so imagine if you're at university or you're a student and you've got this app on your iPad Practically, if you buy one of those iPad cases that come with a built-in uh, keyboard, you have kind of got. I wouldn't say in Mac. I wouldn't say a MacBook Air, but you've basically got some form of a Mac laptop with you at all times. So you've got the iPad, which has its features of itself, but then you can just turn it into a laptop if you feel like it. So and it doesn't take up much battery life. I don't think it does. I haven't seen it take using up a lot of battery. It just basically uses up how much of the iPad battery is so but you do have to make sure that your computer is on so just turn it on in the morning before going and then and I mean come on computers can run days on end without having any kind of issue so then just turn it on in the morning before going to university and just turn it off when you come back I, I, I am going to see if it works if I put my iMac on display sleep mode so that the display turns off not the whole iMac and see if I can still use it and if I'm not using it the iMac just turns off its screen I will be trying that so let me and you do get a full keyboard so if I go into let's go into pages um, there we go okay so if we tap on here 
Oh yeah, what you, what you have to do is, um, you have to press here, you have to press this little button, come on, and there you have your keyboard. So you can type, hello, this is a test of the keyboard. So it, pra it does type quite fast, but I can see it as being more useful if you've got a separate keyboard. Let me quickly show you something, okay? Sorry, I just made the camera move. Yes, I know I've accidentally out of the app, but let me... So I've got the magic... Magic? I've got the wireless... Um, I've got the Apple wireless keyboard. So, let me show you how useful this can be if you've got one of those cases. So, just relatively speaking. So, if you go into settings quickly with this go into where is it bluetooth turn the bluetooth on and it's found the wireless keyboard and it's getting connected okay i'm now connected to the apple keyboard as you can see it's connected so going back to where i was if we go back to the app and hopefully this does work the way i think it will i haven't tried this so this is live on camera so yeah and if it doesn't work, then it's just me doing a total fail. But hopefully this works. And if it does, it will be awesome. Okay, so tap. Okay, it's a fail. It doesn't work. Oh, it does. Okay. So what you have to do before you... And before you... Okay, before you start using it, what you have to do is... You have to still make it as if you're bringing up the keyboard. Let me show you. Like if I click on the on pages, and then you still have to click here on that button. But then it doesn't bring up the keyboard. It brings up the only the tabs, and then you can just use it as a normal keyboard. Let me show you now. This is a test of the keyboard. See, there you go. So you could effectively write, make your notes, I don't know. Okay, well, let me just, I'm moving the keyboard away so that it's where I can type because I can't look at the screen and type and then, so let's see what can we type now. Okay, um, okay, if you are not currently aware comma the new iPad will be in stores in the morning full stop so it is quite responsive it's not I wouldn't say it's laggy or anything so there is a lot of potential there so if we okay let me, okay and hopefully let, okay let's see if this works let's try doing a command key Control quit. See that's something okay you can't you can't do commands, but what you can do is click this button so it opens up the command key and then press Q on your keyboard and then it'll quit it. So there is a lot of potential with this. Um what else could I show you? Let me get okay, let's just get away from the keyboard for now. So it's basically literally having your Mac on your what I'ma call it, on your iPad. Okay, let's just show you Safari quickly. So, let's go do a Google search. Okay, there's Google. Bring, press that to, to start the type. And let's search my name, my YouTube name, Tech Guy Hodge. And there you see it all comes up. You could even use your keyboard to just scroll down. So yeah, this app has a lot of potential. Especially now that I have realized that you can use the Apple wireless keyboard with this. So I'm guessing you can use um, a case with a wireless keyboard, same procedure. So yeah, this was a quick um, overview of Splashtop. Let's exit out of this. No, don't force quit. Okay, force quit, same thing. Okay, and now let's go out of here. So that was a quick overview of splash top you could well there's not really much okay i'll do it i'll try getting out a review soon 
don't know when I'm really bad when it comes to videos at times sometimes I'll do one every week and then I won't do one for ages it really depends on how busy I am with things so yeah and um, let's quickly find out how much this is on the on the app store shall we oh come on sometimes that's one thing that I find end up I end up doing a right click so I have to use the keyboard and I could have got it connected okay let's quickly use, let's bring out the keyboard again I hope my battery doesn't die splash top for iPad okay so it should be on the app store there it is there you go it's it's 2 99 on the app store I think it's worth it uh, oh wow look at that so it's um, on sale, um, Splashtop Remote Desktop is regularly priced at $19.99 and that's dollars so I don't know how much that converts to but at the, at this moment of making this video is $2.99 on the App Store I would get it seriously if you're someone that needs, well not needs but wants the iPad but then is thinking should I get the iPad or the MacBook Air iPad's a bit cheaper so you can kind of get the best of both worlds so yeah, and uh, that's about it really. So I've, I'll have all the information in the, at the bottom where you can download the app, how much it is, and uh, all my social links. Follow me on Twitter at TechGuyHodget. Subscribe if you like these kind of videos. So that was a quick overview of Splashtop, and that's me out. I'll see you again another time in another video. Take care, guys.